More than a thousand people lining up daily in Valdosta to cast their ballots in the two Georgia U.S. Senate runoff elections. ABC 27's Jada Williams is live at the Lowndes County Board of Elections office tonight. And Jada, are the voters excited to be back at the polls so soon? Ava, voters that I talked to say that this is an unforgettable experience seeing Georgia take center stage. And for many of them, they say it's the most important thing they can do right now just by casting their ballot. Honestly, a lot of us tend to complain sometimes, and yes, we have the right to complain, but we still got to do what we got to do. Michael Williams did his part by casting a ballot Tuesday, just like Rusty Futch. It was weighing heavy on me, you know, about what I needed to do as a, uh, as a citizen of the United States, citizen of Lowndes County, to be able to come out and vote. And Maggie Moody. I'm a pretty proud voter right now. <laughs> who brought two young voters with her, casting their second ever ballot weeks apart. I think it's important to basically model the expectation so that basically the legacy continues, um, the democracy continues. The president is nothing without his team behind him. So that's why it's important to vote for the Senate. Georgia voters will determine which party controls the U.S. Senate. Democrat John Ossoff is challenging Republican incumbent David Perdue in the Senate seat one, while Democrat Raphael Warnock is coming after Republican Kelly Leffler's seat. Voters on both sides saying COVID is the main factor to try and gain control. I feel like this country as a whole has dealt with COVID the way that I feel like it should. And I feel like we really need to clamp down on that. And for the party that I voted, I feel like they're really good for that. In shape with this virus and all that's taking place, uh, it's, just, it's just crazy. I mean, it's just been a crazy 2020. Lowndes County has received more than 6,000 mail-in ballots plus more than 14,000 people who already voted in person, making this one of the biggest runoff elections in Lowndes County history. And Jada, with so much excitement swirling, has the county also seen more registered voters? Well, Ava, there was definitely a push to get more voters registered between the general and that runoff election, even with organizations based out of Florida coming across the state lines to help out. But Supervisor of Elections Deb Cox tells me that it was still pretty small compared to what they usually see. But she says the reason that it was so small is because the state of Georgia and Lowndes County already has a pretty high percentage of people registered to vote. Reporting live from the Lowndes County Board of Elections office, Jada Williams, ABC 27. All right. Thank you, Jada.